Now you can add another track and you could choose whatever instrument that you like. I'm going to stick with that vanilla beat. I'm going to solo my track now and go to my instrument. If I go back to the Schoology page, let's take a look. I'm going to do a snare drum. Now remember that this is beat one right here. What do you do on beat one? That squiggly line is a rest. And this is beat two, and that's where the click falls. And this is beat three, and this is beat four. So you're going to rest on the first beat, play on beat two, rest on the third, play on beat four. So this is a little tricky because what you want to do is you want to uh, do this. When you go to record, you have to actually wait for the first beat to play, and then you're going to rest on beat one, play on beat two, rest on beat three, play on beat four, and keep that going. So let's have a go at that. What is our snare drum? It's D. So I've slowed the click down. I'm going to solo my track just to, to make sure that I'm going to just record the one track that I want, the snare drum. And I could double click instead of saying vanilla. I can say snare drum. So I can keep track of my tracks, no pun intended. And of course, I could always label the hi-hat. I'll go back and do that later. And I'll hit save to make sure I have it done. I'm going to record now the snare drum. Don't forget, rest on beat one, play on beat two, rest on beat three, play on beat four. All right, here we go. Here's the recording. One, three, four, rest, play, rest, main, rest. Main, rest, main, rest, main, rest, main, done. That's it. What do I do first? Save. You know you have to save first, please. And you could, if you wanted to, also quantize right here. What we play? Quarter notes? Quantize to the quarter. This is all assuming that you got close enough to it. And we can double click here to see it in the piano roll and make sure that it's exactly. See, this is beat one. There's nothing in it. This is beat two beat three, beat four. I know they aren't exactly the length of a quarter note. That's what a quarter note would be, the entire box of quarter notes. But that's fine, as long as it sounds like what you need. Okay, let's do the bass drum. So I will, again, add a track, and I'll choose a drum set just for time. I'm going to leave it right there, but that's going to be my bass drum. So I'm going to double click and change the sound, the name, I should say. And I'm going to solo this track and just make sure I don't solo the other two, right? Let's, uh, let me get rid of this. You can see all three. So these are muted and this is soloed. Great. And now I can choose my bass drum. I look at the bass drum track in the piano roll, in the, uh, the instrument track. And what's a bass drum? The letter A. Okay. So we're going to record some bass drum. Here we go. And the bass drum, to review the the rhythm is main, 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 main. There's a quarter note on every single beat. And I'm just going to keep that going. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Done. Okay, so that's it. That's what I've got. Now I want to save my work and quantize. We did all quarter notes, so I'm going to come right up here to quantize and choose the quarter note, and it should be perfect. So I'm going to get rid of this screen in the bottom. I'm going to pull in my loop there so I have four perfect measures. So let's take a listen to what it sounds like, all of them together. So I'll take off the solo and the mutes, and here we go. Well, that doesn't sound very dance-like, does it? So let's go and change the tempo. Dance tempo is somewhere between, I don't know, 122 and 144. So let's do 132. Let's see how that sounds. Good. Let's have a go with that and see if I wanted to. I could set my little loop on, and here we go. Great. And you can adjust the volume. And that's a basic techno beat. 